so I'm in Maureen's house doing it. Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. we are live. Hey. Hello, everybody. I am Becky Vanessa, and I have Sue here with me all the way from Ireland. Yes. Cork. Ireland. I love that. I love chatting with you because you sound like my, um, my BFF, Amy. I told her the other day, I was like, Sue left me a message. And I was like, it sounded just like you, Amy. No way. <laughs> I love your accent. So thank you. Thank you for coming thank on you. here. I was so excited. I know. And, and what did you say here? Are you at a trade right now? Well, I'm just about to have a trade in the minute with my um, my very, very dear friend, Maureen. And we're going to do um, body work in about whenever this finishes. Yeah, so yeah. I'm in her house using her Wi-Fi. And <laughs> Yay. Just the life from here, as well, you do. Thank you, thank you for um, letting us have you for a minute. So um, let's jump right in. These have been really yeah. quick and really fun. And I, I actually got inspired to do these because um, Brendan did a, um, Brendan Watt just did a Facebook Live. Um, on, I think it's on the Access Consciousness um, Facebook page. It's not a group. The um, With Emily, Emily Russell. And yeah. they pulled a clip from it where he's like, why I love access bars. And it was just, well, one, it was brilliant. The clip was brilliant. And then I was like, how cool would it be to like, you know, just like interview a few people on, hey, like, why do you love the access bars? So that's my first question. Why do you love the access bars? Okay, so um, I, I'm not even gonna go back. I'm gonna go to right now okay. when I have my bars run, right? So. Yeah. I trade with this lady here, Maureen, a lot. And for me, the minute like I get up on the bed and when she places her hands or anybody really, when they place their hands on my head and they touch, it's the implant band is one of the positions with bars. The minute she touches the implant band, it's like it, it is my, my whole body just relaxes. Mm. And you know that, like, you know, the way like we live every day and there's like stresses and whatever you call them. I'm Becky, I'm going to follow the energy on this now. My words may not like. It's okay. Come out properly. Go, girl. <laughs> Go, girl. But um, so when like I would have been a big stressor, right? My whole body was just one big, huge stressor. So for me, like having my bars on, like I will have my bars on at least twice a week. Mm. That's brilliant. How I like to have it um and everyone's different uh like when I get on the bed and she touches my implant band it's like I just everything just like goes mm. and it's just like space instantly you know it's yeah. that space where like like that that you know that thinking and that like fast like not speed but that fast like overload yeah it just dissipates like that Brilliant. super fast like <laughs> and for me like my body just it, it relaxes it mm. relaxes and I feel like I'm being cuddled I feel <laughs> like I've been hugged I know <laughs> I love you <laughs> I feel like I'm being hugged and and that nurturing it's that nurturing and that like you know someone is actually supporting my head holding you know me it's like that that space where I'm laying down on a bed and somebody's going hey you know what it's okay you don't have to do anything right now I'm mm -hmm. gonna you know hold your head and I'm gonna like touch these points for you and you're just gonna sit back and relax yeah. and receive it's like somebody just like they're having your back oh god yes <laughs> yeah totally I've goose us shivers <laughs> Run my bars. <laughs> I think you just ran my bars. I'm telling you, I am just like that was so yummy. Wow. Oh Brilliant. Brilliant. Saved, like it saved my life, Becky. You know, um why when I right. I mean I love that you say that, but like I get that you're not just like, oh, it saved my life. Like you really like so, so like what is that? Tell me. It kind of makes me a little bit emotional. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, like, I mean, for me, like, for most of my life, like, um, I thought I was crazy. 
I thought I was like, and I don't mean like today I would put my hand up and say, yeah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy with possibilities. I'm crazy with magic. I'm crazy with knowing that something exists beyond everything that somebody says to me, well, this is it for right now. And I'm like, no, there's something else. Um, But before I had my bars and I thought I was crazy. I thought I was like, you know, um, not with it or, you know, like what's wrong with you. Yeah, off my game is an expression they use here in, in Cork. Yeah. And um, people would have said this to me a lot, like, oh, you're crazy. You're off your head. You're, you know, you're off your game. And I remember one time actually saying, I wish I was off my head, as in that I was out of my head, mm. you know, because it was always thinking, 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 you know. And um, when when I had my bars run for the very first time, I, it like and, and I say I fell upon it but I didn't right because I was asking I was asking for something to show up that would actually show me that it was worth it to actually stay you know and um, when I had my bars on first I remember leaving the practitioner's house and I went to this like takeaway and I got a bag of chips, right? And the chips here are just like um like potato fries over in the States, they're called fries. So I sat in my car and I was just like, I had accessed this, oh, I don't even know how to put it, but I was happy in my belly, right? And <laughs> yeah. there was no anxiety. And like I actually for probably for the first time, I wasn't actually scared. I remember sitting in my car. I remember exactly where I was near the Blarney Stone. And I was sitting in my car and I was like, wow. <laughs> Even yeah. though I didn't know, but in, in here, in my body, my body was like, oh, yeah, this, more of this. Yeah. And that was back in um, 2011, December 2011. And um, it's been continuous having my bars drawn and one of the biggest things that I will tell you that has really changed for me which is like a real miracle for me and um, every every step I took before I had my bars run my body was um like I used to jump all the time with fright mm. so if somebody came up behind me or if my dog wants to come up now if somebody came up behind me or you know if if there was a word like too loud I would jump out of my body mm, yeah, you know so yeah. that was how I was living all along right that was living for me yeah. so then you know when I start having my bars done that that started to leave wow and I I didn't like I was able to walk down the street like and not be like this I was like this yeah and that's me and Cute. and oh. now when we first came on you were like this Hi, yep. Hi, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how does it get better oh. how does it get any better and, and you know what's something that's so truly amazing about you um sue is that like um maybe it was a few days ago i'm not even sure right now like you reached out and you're like so excited about this and so excited about all these different things. How can everybody get bars? Like, what can we do? And like, and, um, and, you know, I was like, Hey, let's talk. And I was like, I'm not sure what it looks like for me, but like, I got your back. Of course I'll help you. Yeah. Whatever that looks like. I'm not even sure. <laughs> you know, it was like, I'm not even sure, you know, like what you're required of me, but it was so cool that you just even thought of me to reach out to. Yeah for one and um and two I was like uh yeah yeah sure I got your back like yeah um like how how can everybody find out about bars and 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 that is too when I mentioned to you um they do have an online um class of bars coming up which um it only happens once a year Mm -hmm. And so, you know, for people in those areas that don't have a bunch or, or, you know, cause you need three bars classes to become um, a bars facilitator, which then can teach a class. Some areas don't have that many people or, you know, with the COVID going on, I, I don't, who knows, but um, once a year they have this online class um, and you can do pops and it's yeah. Brendan Watt that is facilitating this class. And I was like, Sue, like, what if Ireland had hundreds of pops all over? Yeah. Like, you know, cause you're like, how can I contribute? Like, what can I do, Becky? Like, I would love for everybody to get this. Well, you know, even just speaking to that, if you, um, you know, if you're a, a, a BF or you know somebody that's a CF, an AFF, 
um, which is a facelift or a body process facilitator, you can host a pop. Wow. And it was so cool. I just interviewed um, Julie yesterday and Julie's actually been teaching bars classes for like 16 years, which is so cool. And she does do, she is a pop host. So it was like, Hey, what is one tip? Like you would give somebody, you know, if they wanted to be a pop host or, you know, maybe join a pop. And she goes, um, you're hosting a party. Party. And she that, goes, that's it. She's like, it's yeah. that easy. You're not yeah. doing anything. You get snacks. And sometimes maybe at break, people will like, hey, ask for facilitation. She goes, but it is so fun. She's like, you're hosting a party. Totally. And a party, um, a pop is a party of possibilities. And, you know, really like what you are just inviting people to um, with, you know, speaking to, you know, like what you went through, like how this saved your life. And, totally. you know, and, and not everybody has to be like, oh, my gosh, I feel so horrible to have this. Like, because yeah. truly, um, things always can get better and better, even if they're great right now. Like, the tools that we have always speak to, but there's always more. You oh, can yeah. ask for more. And it can get better. And so, you know, you can be in a place where, I know even for me, where, you know, I knew I didn't want to kill myself because um, I had little kids at the time. But I knew I wasn't living the way I was living any longer. Like, that was a huge man. I was like, whoa, this is it. I'm done with this. Like this has to stop. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course there was like dying. <laughs> I was looking at that, <laughs> you know, um, but you don't have to be at that position either. Like you can be super freaking happy and also yeah. be like, get your bars run. Like what would it create for you? You might explode into possibilities or die from totally. laughter. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> totally. And yeah. do you know what? So funny, I spoke with um, a lady the other day and um, she has her bars run on a regular basis for the last probably nine, ten months. And um, her ask when she came to have her bars run first was to be able to wake up in the mornings and want to be here. Yeah. Actually, her words were, I want to wake up in the morning and be OK. Mm. <sighs> mm. Like, yeah. you know. When, yeah. when you look at that energy yeah. and, you know, as somebody gave me an expression um, a long time ago, I used to wake up and my head would have been doing press ups before I even opened my eyes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And I'd wake up and I would have so much going on, da, 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 whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then my whole day would have to be controlled By so that, that I'm OK. And mm -hmm. I would stay within these, you know, parameters or whatever, you know, yeah. and just to be OK. But I wasn't OK. I wasn't living. Yeah. I was just inside this, like this pressure cooker. Yeah. And I was like just pulsating. It was like, well, you were like living, day. just getting by. Totally. And, and that's OK, too, because yeah. like we all are here and have choice. But I yeah. tell you what, I'm having a shit ton of fun. Oh my I'm having God. a shit ton of fun. Like, you know, like people are like, why are you so happy? Well, because I'm like, I'm having fun, whatever it takes, right? Yeah. Like, whatever it takes. And um, so what would it take for, you know, everybody to be able to find the bars? And, and if you're um, somebody that maybe knows somebody that this actually would contribute to them, maybe they don't know about access, maybe they don't know about bars, um, please share. And if you'd, um, we'd love to hear too in the comments what you love about Access Bars. So please share away and yeah. join a pop. You could join a pop July 9th, 9th um, yeah. with Brendan, um, or uh, you could uh, host a pop if that's a possibility for you. So I am one of the online virtual hosts for that class. So mm -hmm. I will see you if you come. If I not, yeah, if not, I will see you somewhere soon. Yes. Yes. Thank you, love. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. This has been an absolute blast, you know, and what would it take for everyone to experience the nurture and caring of somebody supporting you and having your bars run? Yeah. You know, what would it yeah. take for you to allow yourself to have that gentleness come into your world yeah. and allow that for your body? Um, yeah. you know, I don't say this very often, you know, the word deserve, but you know what, well, all of us 
has we all have a right to have you know ease yeah it's there for all of us yeah it's not just for the certain people like we all get it totally you ask so yeah yeah Yeah. awesome thanks Thanks. thank you love virtual hug i'll see you you soon because i'm coming to ireland girl oh you are you're coming to cork and we're going to go to the blarney stone (sighs) and kiss that stone I am going to kiss that stone. <laughs> well, I kind of thought about the stone and then I went, we could actually go out and have so much fun in Blarney. Yeah. yeah. We could do a tour of Ireland and run bars. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes. Bye, love. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.